Okay, welcome to Mr. J's uh, Earth and Space Science video tutorial. This tutorial is um, going to teach you a few things about uh, topographic maps. Okay, so a topographic map is a map that's created to portray the landscape, the elevation of the land, and uh, to impart some sense of what the these features are like. And the way that uh, a contour topographic map does this is through uh, all these lines. So each line on this map is representing, well each of the red lines is representing an elevation. And uh, this particular elevation right here, oh, let's uh, see if I can, oh I can't undo that. Okay, hang on there. Let me see if I can, there's a zoom tool, something's gone very, very wrong. Okay, let's get this back. Okay, that's, oh, okay, there we go. Is that right? Is that a good zoom? Maybe not. Apologize for this. I just uh, didn't have my pen on. I thought I had my pen turned on and I and I didn't. So let me turn on my pen and then let's keep going. Okay, so there's my pen. So this contour uh, right here, this one, says 4,400. That's 4,400 feet above sea level. This is an American map and so all the contours are in feet. If we walked along this contour we would change direction many times. So here we're going east and then north and then southeast and so on. We'd be changing direction all the time, but we would always be at 4,400 feet. We wouldn't be going up or down. Uh, if we look at this contour here, it's at 4,000 feet. So this is a higher elevation over here than this one is. And if we look over here, here's one at uh, 5,600 feet. And what we notice is uh, over a relatively short distance, say from here to here, we have an elevation change of 1,200 feet. But over uh, roughly twice the distance, from here to here, we only have an elevation difference of 400 feet. And so this is uh, an important point of topographic maps, that where contours are relatively close together, we have a relatively steep slope. Uh, it's, uh, whereas over here, where we have the contours relatively far apart, the slope is uh, much more gentle. Well. Uh, you'll notice that there are bold contours and there are uh, regular contours. The bold contours that have the values associated with them are called... Well, actually, it's really called uh, index elevation contour. And these other contours are simply called elevation contours. Whenever you're looking at a contoured topographic map, uh, you need to know the difference in elevation between any two adjacent contours. And the way you find this out is simply by counting the number of intervals between um, index con between contours of known elevation. So I know that this one here is 4,000 and this one's 4,400. Now you have to be very careful when you count contours. So if I start on this one and I count in this direction, I might only see four. One, two, three, four. But uh, that's just because these contours are so close together it's hard to see. And if I just keep looking along this one, I see, oh, there's another one. So here it's very easy to see the spread in contours. So if I count, I go, here's, from here, one, two, three, four, five contours. So I have a difference of 400 feet of elevation. So my contour interval, and I'm just abbreviating this, this is not, it's not a standard abbreviation. Uh, it's just so I don't have to write it all out. Contour interval is equal to uh, elevation difference of 400 divided by 5, which is 80 feet of elevation. 
So the contour interval is 80 feet. Another very important feature of contour maps are uh, spot elevations. So here's an elevation here. I'll just write it out. It's There's an X, so that's a symbol showing the location of the elevation and it says 3,944. Those are measured values and sometimes they are what's called benchmarked where they've driven brass plates into bedrock or uh, some other um, Per semi-permanent or permanent features so that uh, survey crews can go back time and again and remeasure and recalibrate and um, this is simply for the process of creating uh, the topographic maps. Okay, well uh, here's a uh, blue feature here uh, in a line and uh, so let me just change colors and I'll just exaggerate this a little bit so I'm talking about this feature right here. There's a dashed line that's actually a stream or a river and uh, these are very useful um, for determining very quickly uh, where higher elevations and lower elevations are so I just highlight a couple of these streams here so here's another one there's another one over here uh, this will help you in your reading of topographic maps uh, quite a bit so here we go so I'm just uh, concentrating for now on this area here and I want to have a general impression of of what this topography is like. So I'm going to go back and uh, to the, uh, maybe I'll go to red. And if I look at the contours on around these streams, I'm just highlighting a few of them, uh, they define these V-shapes. So a little bit hard to see here, but they're there the contours change their direction near these streams and there's a rule of reading contour maps that says that these V's point to higher elevations and you see that that's true here's 4400 meters up here and here way down at 3200s and the V's point to higher elevation so we can quickly look at these maps and where we see the streams the V's are pointing to higher elevations so this is a topographically very high region and this is a topographically low region all through here and we can see there's a major uh, stream in this area and it's at the lowest elevation it's being fed by all the other streams so this is a very important tool for getting a handle on what the map looks like and visualizing the map and that takes a lot of practice but uh, you'll get used to it so what we can see we can sort of broadly uh, subdivide the map into general areas so if we you know look at this area this is all very high topography flat and high and then we have a very steep area here so let me because there's a steep ridge in this area here and then it it uh, sort of you know decreases in slope all through this area and then we go get into a relatively flat area again all through here I'm making a big mess now and then we get into a steep ridge again in this area or a relatively steep slope area into the uh, stream in here so we have a flat high elevation then a steep slope that gradually lessens in slope and then into a very low slope area and then a steep slope down again and then into this uh, inner uh, valley uh, for the stream the major stream in this area and uh, that's all for this video we'll see you again <laughs>